Good morning, Erin. Almost 23 months after a pair of ghostly explosions at the Boston Marathon, opening statements will begin Wednesday in the trial of accused bomber Doz Hark Sanayev. Their remarks will bring back vivid memories of the carriage caused by two pressure cooker bombers bombs that exploded 12 seconds apart at the finish line of the 2013 Boston Marathon. Three people died in the blast and more than 260 people were maimed and injured. A fourth person, an MIT police officer, was ambushed and killed in his parole car three days after the bombing at Sonayev and his brother Tomerlin allegedly ran from police. Tomerlin, 26, was killed in a gun battle with police. Prosecutors are expected to focus on the compelling stories of survivors and family members of the victim. Their evidence includes graphic videos and full body amputees photos of the victim. The defense is expected to argue that Sonayev was under the swath of his dramatic older brother, a former Golden Glove boxer who married an American and embraced radiological Islam. Juror cuts across class, but not race. It took nearly two months of juror interviews, 256 people over 22 court days to select the jury. The group includes 18 people across the social economic spectrum, but the group is almost exclusively white. Race has been an issue raised by Sunayev's defense during four unsuccessful attempts to move the death penalty trial from Boston. His attorneys argued that the way the court issues juror Simmons led to picking a panel that older and whiter than the community at large. But prosecutors argued that the juror has had been picking properly. Middle-aged white jurors tend to be more likely to support death penalty verdicts, he said. It juror, just one juror seems to combine youth and ethnic diversity. A college student who is taking a break from his studies he said his mother was born from Iran and converted from Islam to Baha'i faith. Will the will vote be brought to court? The ship away, a vote in which Sunayev sought cover after police gun battle, also is a is expected to be a key piece of evidence. The prosecutor is prosecution is seeking to remove a panel on which Sonayev allegedly scrawled incrimination messages so that the jurors can see it with their own eyes. Assistant U.S. Attorney William Wabber said the boat is too large to bring to the courthouse. The defense, however, wants 
the juror to the jury to see the entire boat complete with bullet holes. Defense attorney David Burkham argued that cutting out a panel would take the written words out of context and wouldn't fairly reflect Sanayo's state of mind. Court papers have already given the public a glimpse of several statements Sanayo allegedly wrote inside the boat. Jurors say they'll keep an open mind. Sanayev is charged with 30 counts, including conspiracy with his brother to detonate weapons of mass destruction at a crowded public event. He and his brother allegedly set off a homemade pressure cooker bombs filled with nail and Chapinel. 17 of the counts carry a possible death sentence. Sanayev has pleaded not guilty. Reporting live here in the WMUR newsroom, I'm Ray Lee King for WMUR News 9. Erin, back over to you.